As far as hip hop goes, I mean, I look at it like this. Uh, 80s, 80s babies, mm -hmm. summer in the 90s, depending on what point of where you grew up at. Yeah. You gotta think about it. That's that's the last era to get the pimps, the players, the hustlers. And you got you seen so many strong black men out. I remember that as a kid. Mm -hmm. So and then I also saw it as a kid to where the game completely flipped. See, right. we we are we on the last ones, we the last ones where we got actual the bird understanding knowledge in the game. Right. So that's why it's so much easier for us to slide through business. But you gotta understand and realize though, in the 80s and early 90s, those same people that we saw flip into the game and the dope dealers started being the people that everybody looked up the car code and all that. These same people were getting locked up for 20 or 30 years. Right. Now you add that to in the 80s, what you got now, mm -hmm. what you got now. So you have, in our community, a major bridging gap in communication. Yeah. That's why you have a lot of these old schools saying fuck these youngsters, and a lot of these youngsters saying fuck these old schools. But I completely understand both of them. Right, I do too. Yeah. Exactly why I'm doing it. <laughs> so, what it has to be, and, and there has to be an understanding. Right. I can come with you with my knowledge all day. But we have to be able to sit down and get an understanding first before we have a conversation right. about what the actual problem is. Right. Because if you try to have a conversation with a person that you already don't have understanding with, it's not going to be a conversation, it's going to be an argument. Right. Yeah, because at that point, both parties that energy that put into yeah. that. And so it's, it's right. mainly up to our generation to bridge that gap of communication. Yeah, I, and I'm so, because I get a last, you know, me being involved with politics a lot. I get asked by a lot of 50 plus older generations, like, how do we connect to the youngsters? How do we connect to people that are 24, 25? You know, and I kind of give them some game and they look at things in a different light. You know what I mean? I'm like, the, the reasons why millennials, quote unquote, get such a bad rep is because who raised these people? You know what I mean? We right. entitled a lot of our children because we didn't have nothing. You know what I mean? But you gotta understand, they had a different point of where whether it's technology or streets, the game is different now. Being at a certain age, you're not gonna see down at the bottom what they're actually doing. Right. You're not gonna see how, like, you, you got people that's hacking now. Yeah. They get money that much. Yeah. Was that 20 years ago? No. And these youngsters that are actually doing it. So they got different ways of getting their money now, so they have different ways of conducting their own business. So how you gonna be an old school come tell me how to how the correct way of getting my money when I've been already getting it? Yeah, so a, we got to come with an understanding first. Right. That's that's deep. Now, currently, you are coaching. Yes. What um what type of coaching do you do? Uh, I do life coaching. I do business coaching. And I do transitional coaching. What is uh transitional coaching? Transitional coaching is basically like everybody goes through transitions in life. Yes. There's always a transition. And so, like when you're when you're stuck in a transition, that means you're not ready to go on to your next level or to make that transition a whole lot smoother. Right. So like I said, like you went from, say like you go from a higher position to get into your job, which we already know, okay, the money comes with that, just that know. But if you're not moving in that transition, you don't waste your money, really. Yeah. If you're not prepared for success, the, your success is coming, then guess what? You're going to fall behind. Yeah, 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 you are. So that's why you also transition. Okay. And then, if you mind touching a little bit on, you said life coaching, and what was the other one? Business coaching. Uh, business coaching, what I basically do is, uh, I can, uh, I go into corporate businesses, because uh, my background, basically, uh, I work in restaurants uh, for about eight years around. Yeah, yeah. And every restaurant I went into, I actually noticed and realized that everywhere I went, the sales would grow. And I was like, and then when they started actually sending people Certain jobs sent for people telling me from the higher ups and they asked me, well, what is there that we can do to make this place run? I'm, and I'm gonna think, and a light bulb went off my head. I'm like, you get Why? paid. <laughs> but you, you actually paying people hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to figure this out. But you come to me to ask me, well, what is it? So they let me know you actually been watching the numbers that I actually do. And so, and I started realizing, okay, it's, it's the people, the way I, I navigate the people. Right. And see, the thing about it is, 
You can, like I tell you, you can only teach the one who don't own understanding. And so, you might not be good over here, but I can get the best out of you over here. So I'm gonna put you over here where you can succeed. So everything can flow better. So everything can flow better. So I know at any given time, if there's a problem, I know how to fix that. And so, from doing that and then climbing up in the corporate ladder, I was like, okay, well, it's, it's mainly business. And, and, and understanding the people and, and, and the message that you're putting out to the people. And so just to, to get in and, and get your, your team on to the agenda that you're pushing towards them, mm -hmm. to where they, they understand and can apply it to their lives, right. as far as in the goal that you're pushing with your business, that's what I do in business coach. Hey man, shout out to Earl Nation. Uh, please subscribe to me. He has a lot of content coming up and it will be some more great things coming and I look forward to working with him sometime soon. So hey, Earl Nation, it's on the rise, buddy.